Hey there, everyone, it's the Under Producer. Hope your day's going well. I'm currently at the Sobi Stadium in York University. And I figure what better time to talk about Drambo. Yeah, no kidding. I'm actually going to be talking about Drambo while I'm currently walking across here. Because, hey, why not? Also, shout out to Tim Hortons for the coffee because I kind of need it right now. It's, it's a really, really cold winter. Now, what is Drambo? Well, Drambo is hard to explain, but it's easy to understand. That's the best way I can explain it. It is something that is covered in a modular groove box. Now, what, what is that? I'm just throwing about a lot of words. Okay, look at it like this. Drambo is an application that lets you make whatever you want to make in terms of musical products. You can make an instrument. You can make a synth. You can make a sampler. You can make an effect. You can make a DAW. You can make some sort of audio stretching algorithm. And you can even script in some MIDI and other things. In other words, it is insane, the potential of Drambo. And you're wondering, why? Why would somebody want to use Drambo? What does it offer as opposed to other applications? Well, the potential of Drambo is realized by you. You have to decide what you want to make. So, let's get to work. I'm going to take a seat. But without the way, let's get to work. Whoosh. Okay, I'm sitting down right now and we're just going to cover the basics of Drambo. With Drambo, it's an open box, it's a sandbox. You make whatever you want. But I'll tell you the ways I use it as of right now. I use it as a MIDI controller to control AUV3 applications. I use it as a DAW to make songs. I use it as a sampler combined with Koala sampler. I use it as a tool to make songs kind of like a groove box but my own unique groove box similar to what amplify does but it's my own unique take on it where i can use whatever applications or methods to do it i use it as a effects plugin because it is insane the amount of effects you can make i use it as a testing ground i use it as a testing ground that allows me to test things i wouldn't be able to do in any other daw the best thing i can say we want to use a jambo is use the tools that are in it first before you try and expand into other auv trees because jambo on its own is fantastic you can if you design it with the tools in mind and you try and solve the problems with the tools you have already in jambo it would mean you can actually use that same plugin in other projects and this means whatever you do can just build off of beautiful build off. now here's some quick tips i can tell you about drambo to help make your life easier first of all label your stuff in a way that you can understand make it so simple whether it's an instrument or it's a plugin make it simple two as i mentioned earlier try and use all the stuff in drambo you may not be able to understand everything at once but try and use the stuff in drambo first three Check out other people's presets. There's a patch storage where people share their own presets and how they solve unique problems. Have a look at it, tweak it, save it in yours, and then make unique modifications of it and save that unique modification because that's your own interpretation of the instruments. There is no need to reinvent the wheel when somebody has already done it. Four, it is okay not to use Drambo. It, it is perfectly okay not to use Drambo. This is the best advice I can give you. I said everybody says, Drambo, Drambo, Drambo. Please, chill, chill, chill. It is okay not to use Drambo. There are many other tips along the way, but I hope you're able to join me along this ride where we explore what Drambo can do. But without the way, take it easy, everyone. Wish.